Hi guys and welcome back to another Division 2 video. In today's video we've had some information uh, in connection with the chill out mask and basically it's getting a bit of a buff or should I say it's getting fixed because um, obviously as you know it doesn't have a brand set bonus at the minute it just gives you the two mod slots so we're going to look into obviously the information that I found out today and also I'm going to give you my thoughts on the actual mask is it worth having you know and one of my general thoughts on it as a you know a viable option for certain builds anyway if you do like <clears throat> Are you all right? Anyway, if you do like today's Division 2 video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Division 2 content. With that being said, let's get into it. Right, so yeah, as I say in the intro, uh, the chill out mask is actually getting fixed. And when I mean fixed, as you can tell uh, by looking at the masks that I've got, you know, it's a Gila Guard mask, but it doesn't come with the one, say, you know, the brand set bonus of uh, five armor, you know, total armor. And I was led to believe when I first seen this, that was the case. But according to Yannick on Twitter, this is getting fixed in the next update. And it's going to come with the brand set bonus, which will be the 5% total armor. As you can see on screen, Yannick shared a tweet. A few people was obviously talking about the chill out mask and how it's dropped etc in the slayer so, you know someone mentions about the slayer the goblin and my video was tagged in there by obi <clears throat> now as obviously the conversation goes on he is asked as you can see here and he says you know the missing gila guard bonus which the brand set bonus is a bug we have a fix for it in the next patch now i did ask him when is this patch coming he's yet to reply but anyway let's go and have a look at the mask and obviously see how this is going to benefit us going forward so yeah the chill out is getting its uh, fix on the next patch updates with that being said i still think you know it's not best in slot for instance you know just because you can have two mod slots on it still gives you three attributes like this bellstone mask for instance you can see it's got critted damage armor regen and then the one empty mod slot so putting say for instance critted chance on that gives it the same amount of obviously attributes overall as any you know gear guard mask or the chill out mask gonna say and it's the same with any other mask in my opinion so for instance i'm working on a striker build where the mask and the backpack are going to be the two slots that are vacant you know for strikers your striker is going to be chest piece gloves holster and knee pads we're going with the memento backpack so the only option i've really got now is the mask now if i'm using assault rifle a fenris mask is better and obviously a Gila mask as you can imagine even when they get the breath brand set bonus because it's got the exact same amount of core attributes the only benefit the chill out mask gives you is if you want to stack three lots of the same attribute but if you've obviously got the pieces i think you can mitigate that in other parts of your build so you know it's the very fine lines it's few and far between um in my opinion if the chill out mask is more viable than say the weapon damage of particular weapon that you're using so for instance fenris for an assault rifle the sokolov for obviously smg etc etc but it is you know regardless of that it is nice that they are obviously giving us the brand set bonus for these because they are going to be good in certain situations so as you can see one there i'm working on it's a skill tier with three lots of crit hit chance and you know this is the one piece of that build i've just been mentioning that i'm trying to um get a fenris mask for where i can have a skill tier on it instead and for me you know the fenris wins because of the 10 percent assault rifle damage even when they sort out this mask so we get the brand set bonus i still think the fenris mask for me personally will be better anyway i will come up with a few videos in the future regarding the chill out mask once i've put together a build that i think is obviously you know it's viable in but yeah so it's getting its fix it's all been confirmed on twitter and yeah it makes it more viable for everybody if it gives you that five percent total armor especially if you're building into a you know a, a tanky build as well and yeah let me know in the comments down below what builds you've been putting together with the chill out mask how you can make it work in the sense of it's the best in slot for that particular build i'll be interested to see what you guys are running with it anyway if you did like today's video as i say hit the subscribe button for more division 2 content and yeah until next time agents out